Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fish and Vids. Well, it's just too much fun up here in the mountains of Maryland. I'm back again. I'm back up here in this beautiful mountain lake that's just been on fire for me the past couple times I've been out. I just had to get back up here again. And for good reason, I'm here in the mid-Atlantic and we've got a stretch of warm weather coming. Look at me, I'm in a t-shirt at nine o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be like 68 to 75 degrees for the next five days straight. This water is gonna be warming. The water temperatures are probably just about 58 to 59 degrees and every day it's just gonna climb. These fall smallmouth specifically are gonna be moving, they're gonna be munching, and I have got everything on this boat that it's gonna to take to get these fish eaten. So bottom line is, I couldn't take it anymore, had to get back up here. So I might make this a couple day trip. Uh, I got a few days off from work. And with that said, it's not just this lake I'm at, Jennings Randolph. There's a couple other local lakes that I might surprise you with. I'm not gonna promise you. I just gotta kind of play out the situation. And specifically this lake, they took away the boat dock. There's no boat dock. Thank goodness I'm in this little uh, pelican of mine with this little 2.5 in the back because almost like a kayak, I was able to just slide it down the ramp, kind of sit it there and then back it off the ramp using a little oar to get out there before I crank this little 2.5 motor up. So I'm the only one on this thousand acre lake, literally the only one out here. So bottom line is it's time to get fishing and time to stop talking. These small mouth are waiting for me. There is absolutely no question that I'm throwing that re-range jack all in that crazy awesome color that these small mouth have been crushing every time I've been out here. So I'm going to definitely, definitely start with some moving action, see what the bass are doing today and I'm out here on this very rocky point way down here by the dam. It's a little different than where I started last time but I've started out here before. Fish on guys <laughs> right off the point. I was getting a little worried. Usually when I come out here it's not more than a couple minutes but it took a couple right here and I got one. It looks like a largemouth guys. Amazing. First fish of the day is actually a decent largemouth on the jerkbait. So there we go. Game on. <laughs> it started early. And uh, it didn't start as fast as I thought, but it, it's game on, guys. It's going to be like that. And uh, a large mouth, that's a kind of a surprise. But that re-range, that re-range strikes against. Well, that's species number one. I'm very confident the smallmouth will be biting too. So I've, uh, I've caught quite a few different species out of here. Specifically, not the last time, but the time before. It was great. I mean, unbelievable. Oh, there's another one, guys. Back-to-back -back casts off the point. <laughs> nice. I was just about to say that smallmouth, largemouth, a rainbow trout, walleye, a rock bass, and here we go, look at this. Got the smallmouth, back-to-back -back casts, largemouth, smallmouth. Look at that, guys. Isn't that just an awesome thing? And you gotta know, that's why I'm here. There's no question that two and a half hour ride up this way is worth every minute. So I better get those pliers out. That was lucky I was able to get them, but beautiful smallie going back. Don't leave home without them, guys. Not when you're jerkbait fishing. Have those pliers nearby. I forgot to have them out, but fortunately, it wasn't too hard to get those uh, trebles out of those last two fish, but it might not be so easy on the next one. These banks drop off steep, and I'm telling you right now, parallelism's been the game. Every time I've been out here, it's been bluff walls and steep banks and rocks, and it's just been all day long. Great numbers, good sized fish, good species count. It's just so much fun. So. Great time. There he is again, guys. Unbelievable. Just repositioned, got parallel, and another one. This one feels a little better. Maybe caught in the side. They've been, a bunch of fish have been getting caught in the side, and I've been snagging a bunch of fish, which means they're just attacking, and that's what this is right here, guys. I've got a sideways small mouth. It feels so much bigger when I get them like that, but there's a testament to good hooks. I can't tell you how many times I've done that, but I get another fish in the boat right on the same, same bank. Absolutely awesome. And look, I just told you guys I got that plot set of pliers and that's what I needed. Back it goes. All right, good to pick up the first few fish of the day. Quick, I'm talking within less than 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and hit this opposite bank here that's leading onto a really, really nice flat where I've caught them before. So I'm gonna work these deep edges along this rocky bank. And then as it goes around to that side towards the dam, it flattens out in that whole area right in there. It's just anywhere from seven to 20 feet of water before it drops down super deep. So let's see how this all pans out. Oh, they pulled back guys. There it is. First flats fish, flats fish. And what am I on? Fishing for bonefish. That's a nice fish too. It looks like a smallmouth. I'm not worried about doing this 10 pound test fluorocarbon long and skinny. I got a net this time guys, but this one, I think I was able to handle. Let me get those pliers. Look how many of those hooks he's got. Number one, number two, and number three, and he's free. Look at that, guys. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Long and skinny. 
going back. Well, I guess the flats was a good call. You know, last couple times I was out here was like I said, I don't know if I said it, bluff walls, steep banks. I didn't hit this. I didn't hit this flat last time. There was no sun. It was real cloudy. Uh, I decided to go ahead and get on some of the deeper banks. And But with this sun and this wind, there's no question these fish are going to be moving up shallow uh, with this little warm-up following bait. So that one followed my bait and ate it. Oh, and a back-to-back -back cast. I did it again. Let's see what you got here. Another one. Oh, what do I got? Guys, walleye, walleye, walleye. I got my walleye. Look at this thing. Beautiful fish. It's not going to be big enough to keep. And even if it was, I don't know what I'd do. Did I not tell you guys that there were going to be some multi-species action today? Look at the golden colors on that fish. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Ridiculous, ridiculous time I'm having already. I've been here barely 20 minutes. What am I dealing with? Large mouth, small mouth, walleye. Give me a sec. Let me get these things out. All right, guys, no, uh, no lip in these toothy critters. That's the prettiest wall I've ever seen. Look at the golden colors on this thing. So uh, 15 inches or more, five fish a day. If I have a stringer, I am staying up here for a few days. I really don't have the means to keep these things. I definitely will come back and hopefully with uh, a shorter trip and the means to do it, I'll be bringing some of these home. <laughs> and just for fun, I measured them out. That's a 14 inch walleye, guys, going back. All right, guys, working my way towards the dam, and I'm on a steep bank again off the flat. So here's bass number something. I don't know which number it is, but it's another nice smallmouth. Look at him, guys, beautiful fish. Absolutely, absolutely insane. Killer jerkbait, bite and fall. A little more pale, that guy. Gosh, another one, guys, another one. <laughs> Four or five casts later, maybe. It's like every section of this lake and every bank is gonna have something ready to eat. Having to be very, very careful with these trebles. These things are ultra sharp. And those are stock hooks. Well, in fact, stock hooks, the first two, uh, my rear my rear hook's actually one of those Gamagatsu Aaron Martin specials. I had to actually change that one out because it all got the original hook got all damaged, but for the most part, the hooks that come on this rearrange are stock and they are amazing they're pretty stout but they are sharp enough to penetrate and with this rod i'm throwing the jerkbait special it's the perfect action and it just buries them so i'm 100 percent hookup ratio right now for all these fish i'm catching i think i got another one guys is that another fish i got another one back to back casts unbelievable the second it hit the water two twitches and another one guys leave a comment below let me know what you think of this fish an outrageous incredible 100 percent 100% hookup ratio on these fish, too much. Got to adjust, he's got a belly on him. Got to make sure I don't get on those rocks, the wind's blowing right on this bank, which is why it's a good bank to fish. And again, what I tell you about those hooks, guys. Is he on? He sure is. There he is, guys, another one right in front of the dam. Let's see if it's a smallie. Yep, another nice smallie. Nothing huge, guys, tons of numbers, just numbers galore. As much as I love throwing soft plastics and feeling that drop shot bite and getting a Ned rig smacked, I don't know if I can put this drop, I don't know if I can put this jerk bait down is what I'm trying to say. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below if you had a jerk bait bite going on. Oh, look at this fish right here. What do we got here? We got a walleye right, we got a walleye swim right at my feet. What the heck is going on? This lake is ridiculous, but yeah, if you can fish a jerk bait all day and just keep catching them, oh, like that, <laughs> what would you all do? That's a hell of a bite right there, guys. Look at this fish. What do we got here? Another smallie? Yep, a good one. That's what I'm talking about. You guys want to catch them like this? Oh, and there he goes. We're going to let that one go because I couldn't get my hand on him. But what would you do? Just keep whacking them? Or would you throw a soft plastic every now and then? I think I'm, uh, I think I know what I'd do. That's for sure. That was a little wild and crazy right there. I, that's the first fish I actually lost, but he was up in the air and out of the water for a minute, so I'll count it. That was, uh, that was a nice smallmouth. Probably one of the bigger ones I, uh, I had bite today, so I'm in the zone right here, guys. This area right down here by the dam is producing. I got a little steeper drop off right here, so hopefully I'll find a little pot like that. <laughs> Another one back to back. Another one, guys. Oh man, I, I promise you, I'll show you as many as I can, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to show you as many fish as I catch today. I'm not joking. I'm probably, at the rate I'm going right now, I'm probably, he's in the boat. I'm probably gonna be dealing with 100 fish a day. I'm not joking, guys. I've done it close to that before out here, but the way it's going, I've been here, 
I don't know, half an hour at the most. You've seen how many I caught, or at least you've seen the ones I've shown you, but I've been catching them virtually every few casts. All right, guys, I'm gonna parallel the actual dam. Check it out. Got the dam right here in front of me. There's the main section of the dam, but this whole area right here, it is absolutely awesome when it comes to a steep drop off and these rocks are definitely warming. There's no question with the wind blowing on it and the sun warming the rocks, there could be a good reason why they'd be here. So let's give it a shot for a little section of it and see if anything is around. And if it's not producing over here, I'll just get it back to the more of the points and drops that are producing. There he is, right by the dam, guys. First cast, parallel to the actual dam itself. And I got myself another fish. So I think it's gonna be worth fishing this section and uh, with everything that I had just mentioned from the wind to the drop off to now the bass, I think I'm gonna fish this area. I got a long stretch to fish. I just turned around to fish the other way, but I'm facing the other direction because I am using my left hand to work this bait and I can keep it that much closer to the bank go in that direction so i may go all the way down and come back but i'm just trying this little section right here to see what's happening and obviously it's happening at least with that little guy and oh i got a bite right there out a little four there he is got him that time a little deeper too guys i'm glad i turned around this feels like a better fish that's back-to-back -back cast one ahead of me and one behind me so i'm definitely going to be fishing this uh, that's a nice fish guys that's a nice fish wonder what it is oh it's a nice small mouth look at this fish guys Biz biggest one of the day just happened to turn around a little bit deeper water beauty beauty i hope this stays on and look at me this is this is net worthy guys absolutely net worthy fish and i ain't messing around i'm not gonna lose some of these nice ones look at this fish absolutely awesome smally right by the dam look at this thing guys biggest fish of the day Ain't that something? Look at that thing in the sun. Amazing. Let me get that out. Back to back cast and he got it beautifully. All these hooks in him. He wasn't going anywhere. And I had a net to boot, guys. Look at that fish. Beautiful, dark and beautiful. Smalley up here in the mountains of Maryland. Going back. Oh, there he goes. Oh my God, I thought that was a fish. I got hooked up and snagged, guys. I thought I had a giant. I hope I get this back because this would be a horrible thing to lose when it comes to baits. It's a little bit more shallow right here, but I got a lure retriever happily, and he's probably not that deep down, so I should be able to get it back. No way. Oh my God, I was about to use my lure retriever, guys, and I got my re-range back. That's a big deal considering how well I'm doing. It's always good to have a backup, but that just popped right out. Man, that felt... Uh, really good when it came loose so the wind just kicked up just a hair it was so calm for a minute but now i'm going to go right back down the bank where i got the first one down here on this here dam and let the wind take me down and see if i can pop another one there we go that's not too bad that's only three or four casts guys only three or four casts since I got my beat back. So there we go. Gosh, number three is a nice one. Another nice one, guys. It's absolutely beautiful outside. The fishing's incredible. Can't beat it. Oh my God, what a hit. Another one back to back and a good one, guys. I think this is another net worthy fish. This does not feel like a, this does not feel like a bass, guys. This feels like something very heavy. It just pulled drag. If it's a big walleye or a trout, I wouldn't be surprised, but this is a big fish. Holy crap. Guys, I have no idea what I've got here, but the net's coming out. Good Lord, look at that walleye. Oh my God. That's my personal best walleye. A little redemption here, guys. That is a personal best walleye coming in the boat. I pray, my God, what a fish absolutely incredible i'm taking it back guys if, if this is oh, I'm, I'm not losing this fish this is a giant look at this thing absolutely insane what a walleye guys look at the size of this thing in the mountains of maryland are you kidding me guys i'm i'm lit look at this thank god i brought my net i'll get it out in a second and show it to you hang tight guys look at this fish it's absolutely huge let me get this boat in a good position away from these rocks let me concentrate for a minute. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. This, this chest is tricky. Look at the size of that fish with that bait in its mouth. So here's the deal. I brought a stringer. I actually have a cooler in the car. I'm bringing this fish home. It's just, it's too beautiful fish. Normally, you know, something a little smaller than this would be a better eater size, but this thing can't not come home with me. Are you kidding me? I rarely ever get a chance to eat a walleye, let alone show one off to the wife. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, not to mention it's my personal best of so five a day. 
over 15 inches. Let me get this thing safely in my hands and show it off to you guys. Look at this walleye, guys. Ain't that beautiful? I've been saying it over and over again. This lake uh, holds the state record walleye and you never know what you're dealing with. Let me see what this thing uh, is when it comes to inches. Out of curiosity, hang tight. I got an old school deal here. This goes way back to my early, early bass tournament days. I got myself the old Gator Grip Golden Rule. I think it's gonna be bigger than the Golden Rule, guys, and it sure is, because this fish is flat out as long as the Golden Rule. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see what we got here. It's just about as long as the Golden Rule right to the end. That's a 22 inch walleye, guys, 22 and a half right to the end of the golden rule. Ridiculous, going on a stringer. Okay, I am repositioning. The wind is perfect. It's gonna blow me straight back down the path from which I just caught that walleye. That thing is absolutely beautiful. It's right down there, swimming next to me on the green stringer, ready to come home and become some incredible black and fish sandwiches. Who knows how many more I might catch today. But uh, again, I'm gonna be up here in the mountains of Maryland for about you know maybe two, three days. I'll put him on ice and he'll be good to go by the time I get home. So here we go, guys. Time to try and light him up again. All right, folks, I made it way, way down the full length of this big old dam right here. So I'm gonna work this wind and cover this entire section. There's no doubt I'm probably gonna pull a few more off, maybe another walleye. But look at this, I got a little dock over here, a little dock over here by the uh, end of the scene. So maybe I'll throw over there just a couple times and let's just see how this all works out. There we go. Guys, that feels like another big fish. Another big one. Let's see what we got. Hasn't jumped yet, guys. This might be another walleye. I was really hoping this could happen, guys. I really was. I think this is another big fish. It's surging. It's definitely, definitely not. It can't be a bass. Is this a bass? Let's see. Maybe it is. It's digging down deep. What do we got here? Wow, that is a digging smallmouth. He didn't want to come up. That's crazy. He had me going there for a minute. Nothing special, but you see how he's hooked. He's hooked there in the gill, and he was spinning and spinning. He couldn't even come up. So there you go. Another smallmouth on the dam. Oh, I got one, guys. He ate it. Oh, my gosh, guys. I just had gotten bit over here. I'm a little bit farther into the pocket, and it feels like I've either got it hooked in the side or it's another big fish. Guys, I think I got another walleye. I thought that one bass I got on the side was a walleye, but this thing's swimming. And let's see what I got. He's coming at me. He hasn't, he hasn't gone the wrong direction yet. Here we go. Oh, it's a nice smallie. Guys, it's a really nice smallmouth. Wow, look at this thing. Another nettable smallmouth. Let's see if I can do that very carefully. Oh my gosh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. Look at this fish. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. What a stud. Absolutely beautiful smallmouth. Look at that thing, guys. Oh, give me a second and I'll unhook him. Well, I'm glad I worked the entire edge there all the way down to the end of the dam. I might have to work this area just a little bit more. It's been absolutely producing. This is right about the spot, maybe a little bit farther past where I got that great big walleye. And now another great big smallie. Isn't that thing beautiful? Look at this thing. Beautiful belly on him. All right, going back. Guys, I'm gonna give my arm a rest and do a little casting and winding with an Alabama rig. I got my little finesse Alabama rig with a bunch of Kitech attached. Got my center piece right there with this little chartreuse tail. The fish are here, guys. I'm just gonna do a little casting and winding and see what pans out here with an Alabama rig. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully the walleye will whack this thing. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see what happens. There we go, guys. Wow, second cast with the Alabama rig. Killer, just a little guy it looks like, but how cool is that? No doubt, he got the center one. He got the one with the chartreuse tail. And now I've got a second bait working for me. So yeah, I'll give my arm a rest with that Alabama, I'm sorry, with that their uh, jerk bait and see if I can pop a couple with the Alabama rig. How cool is that? I don't know if you can see it, but I'll let you see how awesome that rig looks in the water. I mean, it is doing its job. Like I said, that kicker center piece with that chartreuse tail is what that fish nabbed. So that definitely uh, definitely is something you might want to do with your Alabama rig. Give, give them that target and that very, very far back bait is the one they might want. So I'm throwing this Alabama rig with three eighth ounce heads. I got three eighth ounce heads, two dummies with no weight. I got 20 pound test fluorocarbon on this old school Shimano reel and a seven foot six heavy action rod. So just a perfect setup for an Alabama rig. Uh, nothing crazy, but definitely getting the job done. I opted for this umbrella rig, the finesse version without the blades, just because the water up here 
is pretty darn clear, but the more I'm looking at it and the slight stain that I see and the way they're whacking that jerk bait, I wouldn't think the uh, blades would be too bad an idea. So depending on how this works out, I may switch it up, but right now the wind's pretty calm. So a real subtle finesse deal is not a bad option. Oh my God, what a hit. Oh guys, this was like, oh my Lord have mercy. That was literally my third cast. And this smallie just destroyed it. And this is going to be easy to do. That's a chunky fish. Again, he hit that center bait. Look at that, guys. Alabama rig up in the mountains of Maryland. He crushed it. Oh, my God. They always say that, that Alabama rig gets destroyed and sure did. Look at that beauty going back. Two really, really great ways to get bit. A jerk bait and an Alabama rig. They just about take it out of your hand when they eat this Alabama rig. And there's nothing... Nothing bad to say about a jerkbait bite. So two great fall baits. Those two on the boat might be all it takes. If they're if they're mid moving baits, those two will get it done in the fall almost every time. So I'm glad I got them both on board. Oh my God, what a bite, guys. What a bite. There you go. They feel so much bigger when they hit this Alabama rig, especially with a heavy action rod like this. Just pulls it out of your hand. Little guy, nothing huge, but he's still a fish. Nice one, guys. Look at that. Beautiful red eyes on him. Absolutely awesome. That time he hit a side bait. So that's the first fish that hit one of the uh, lower sides. Going back. So I'm sitting there thinking I'm going to give my arm a rest from that jerk bait. Not even thinking about what it takes to throw these dang Alabama rigs. I'm already feeling it in my shoulder, so I'll be going back and forth for sure. But there is no doubt I'm going to be hurting after today between an Alabama rig and a jerkbait. And the hook sets. But no pain, no gain, right? All right, guys, I lost one of my dummy baits. But to avoid taking the time to get that all rigged up, I got just a little bit left of this here uh, dam. So I'm going to break out what I wanted to throw, which was that Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One in the same color that I've been throwing that Jack All Rearrange in. So there it is. There's that beauty right there. It's been chewed up and beat up. And it's time to go a little deeper with this jerk bait. Get my shoulder a rest now and put my hands back to work. Man, this rod feels so light compared to uh, what I was just throwing. It's almost weird. Let me get it down there and see if we have any more contestants to play this jerk bait game oh there he is four casts in with the mega bass guys four casts in let's see what we got oh there's a couple smallies with them oh look at that it's a big old walleye with a tiny little walleye got myself my third walleye of the day on only the fourth cast with the mega bass how cool is that little guy super cool just catching different species guys that makes my day and the cool and the cool thing was there's one a good bit bigger with him uh swimming up with it so uh there that was probably a keeper too that was with him so gosh I'm right back in the zone, right where I caught that giant walleye. So there's obviously some more here. So let's see if they want to eat the mega bass and maybe I can add another one or two or four to the stringer and get my limit. Oh boy, there we go. Little guy. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. That's perfect to, uh, to call it right here, not to call it for the day, guys. I'm going to take a little break. I'm tired. I'm going to get myself some lunch. I'm going to reset. I'm going to basically get myself some food. I'm going to go ahead and get the, what am I trying to say, the Alabama rig all set, get the dummy bait fixed. I'm going to go back to the very, very beginning of this dam, and I'm going to do it again. And uh, this time, instead of starting with the Alabama rig, he's bleeding a little bit, let's get him back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that Mega Bass, Bass Vision 110, the whole strip down, and see how it turns out. So uh, next time you see me, I'll be on the other side of the dam there with a full belly. All right, took a little break, got myself some food, and you know what, I kind of lied, guys. I can't take it. That umbrella rig was just too fun. So there's the umbrella rig with the little flashers. So Flash Mob Junior, something or other. I think those are the Bio Spawn or something or other, Exo Swims, a couple little, uh, real small little dummy baits. But I got the flashies going right now. So let's see if these little willow blades and this wind and this water clarity and everything works out to uh, get me another couple fish on the Alabama rig, because those bites were fun. Let's see if we can do it again. Mm, there it is. Oh my God, what a bite. Oh my God, what a bite. Oh guys, guys, seriously, this is, uh, if this is a smallie, it's a giant. If this is a walleye, I wouldn't be surprised. That is a heck of a fight I've got right here, guys. This is a really good fish. This is probably going to need a net. Oh, and he gets off. 
damn, that was a giant, whatever it was. It was absolutely enormous. I can't believe I lost it, but I can because there's just one hook. <laughs> so let's see if we can get something else to eat this thing. That was enormous. I hope I can get another one. There we go. All right, guys, that's not as big as what I lost, but it's a fish. It's a little smally. Let's see which bait he hit right down the center. Little guy, but Alabama rig strikes again. There's a close up look at those uh, exo swims, I believe. Great little deal, but all of them, all three of those got that little chartreuse tail. So two bites so far, and I've only been throwing it about five minutes. And one of them was giant. Did I get him? I didn't get him. <laughs> I got a hell of a bite though. Just about destroyed my GoPro trying, but back to the end of the dam, guys. I seem to always get a couple bites right here at the end. Caught a couple taps running that whole dam strip right here. And I'm not cussing. <laughs> Basically, uh, here at the end is where these bites seem to always happen. So giant bite, a couple little ones, a couple missed fish, and here I am again getting tapped right here at the end. So after this, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try something different. My mission was to get there at the end of the dam, come all the way down here with a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one. But like I said, I can't resist this Alabama rig because it's actually been working. My shoulder's killing me. So after this little bit of area right here with this little pocket at the end, I'm going to go ahead and move on to a different area, maybe some bluff walls, see what else we can come up with for the day. All right, just for grins, let's go ahead and cast exactly where we caught the first couple fish of the day. Just see if there's any on this point, and then we'll go on from there. Dirtiest water I've seen on this lake ever. The wind's been banging on this point. Good reason why the fish are here, but it's been dirtying up the water a little bit. So let's see if they can see this well enough to eat it. Oh, they were too. Look at that, guys. Second cast right where I started my day. It feels like a decent fish right in the stained water. Look at that. Nice smolly. That's awesome. I'm so glad I came back to this point where I started. It's another one of those nice, dark, beautiful smallies. That's a little bit, that's one of the bigger ones of the day, but I still think I can do that. Look at that fish, guys. Broad and beautiful. Awesome fish. All right, I'm on the shady side of the lake. The sun's dipping behind the mountains. I'm working my way back towards the boat ramp. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a couple hours. I don't know if I'm gonna spend it all out here because I plan on being up here in the mountains for a few days. So I got plenty more fishing ahead of me, so I'm not gonna wear myself out fishing until dark. But I am gonna fish some key spots and see if I can pull a couple more in before it's all over. So I know this little point right here has got fish. Let's see if I can nab one. We got one, guys. Oh, we got a nice one. I think it's hopefully going to stay on. What a nice jump. Looks like a decent fish. Nothing crazy, guys, but just it's never ended. It's never ended all day long. It's been like that. <laughs> Another broad beauty. Every single solitary place I've fished. I just got another bite. I've caught fish. It's just unbelievable. That Oh, there he is. Got him crazy guys it's back-to-back -back cast right there it's just been all day my drag was a little loose on that one look at this beauty another one just cool colors the bellies are getting big it's been wild and crazy guys i can't tell you how many clips i have on this chesty gopro mine right now there's a lot and i can tell you right now i've caught easily easily over 50 bass today and a handful of walleye i got that one large mouth to start the day don't know how many and many of these i'm going to show you I'm going to try and keep this video not so long but I don't know that you'll be bored if it is long because there's just constant, non-stop, crazy fall fishing going on. There's a good bite, I think. Let's see. He hit it way, way slack line. Nope, just another little guy. Oh my gosh, what in the world is going on? Look at the size of this yellow perch. Guys, that is species number four right there. And it's coming home with me. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Guys, I got a trophy, trophy walleye. I got a trophy yellow perch. Look at this thing. That thing is beautiful. Plenty of meat on that for a black and fish sandwich, wouldn't you think? God, look at the colors. Looks like a peacock bass, Maryland Mountain style. Let's put that on the stringer. So that means in total from this lake, I have caught largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, rainbow trout, rock bass, and now a yellow perch. You know there's bluegill in here. You know there's tons of crappie. So 
That is a pretty cool thing and a pretty cool looking stringer. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got him. I got him, guys. I didn't think I did. Oh, he looks like it might be a decent one. I just had one on and lost him. And this is back-to-back uh, -back casts. The one before this was bigger. So I got in a little pot of them. Oh, yeah. There he is. Okay. Acting like you weren't going to show yourself. Look how white your belly is. Oh, my gosh. That is the whitest. That is the whitest belly I've ever seen on a smallmouth. That is like, that is pure white. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Little guy, but you're special. All right, with the setting sun right in our eyes, hopefully it's putting a bunch of shine and shimmer on this jerk bait right here on the end of this point. This is usually where it happens. This is a great lineup. And I would not be surprised if this is where the sign out fish happens. And there it is. Oh my God, what a nice fish. I can't believe it. I had a feeling right here at the boat ramp it was going to happen. And it's a really, really good fish. My God, what is it? Is it a smallmouth? Jeez, it's one of the biggest fish. Of the, oh, it's one of the biggest fish of the day. And it's a sign out fish. And it's a beautiful smallmouth. A really, really, really nice one. Guys, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And there it is. What a fish to end the day right at the boat ramp. Gosh, bad angle, but guys, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me get the pliers. Just like I thought, I had a feeling this is where the sign out fish was gonna be in the beautiful setting sun in the mountains of Maryland. It's not over yet, guys, at least today it is, but it's not gonna be over because I'm gonna be up here for a couple days. I'm gonna be mixing it up maybe here, between here and another couple spots, but what a great fish to sign out, folks. As always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.